I'm here with Buck this morning. He was already at the spot waiting, right? He was waiting. Oh, my father-in-law threw trimmings there for Buck, his favorites. Right? Those are your favorite. I gotta like zoom. Hold on, Buck. Okay. Oh, I drank my coffee before coming out. I drank a nice big glass. So I feel like I could run like a marathon right now. <laughs> Easy. It's so beautiful outside. Right, Buck? We're having a beautiful morning. It's actually not like warm, warm yet, where it's good because you know when it gets warm, that's when all the little the mosquitoes and the, probably the horse flies for him. For me, it's mosquitoes. For him, it's horse flies. The horse flies bother him. I even bought out peanuts if Bluey comes, but I don't even hear Bluey. Hold on, guys. I'm just trying to get the peanuts in the po in my pocket. Okay. Here, Buck. I'll give you a little bit more. Okay. Buck is eating his peanuts right now. Let me get his apples. Hold on, guys. Let me get his apples. I got the apples right here. You know, thank God that I started slicing the apples inside the house. Remember when I used to do it outside? I used to sit out here and slice the apples and record at the same time. And then my husband was always telling me like, babe, won't you slice the apples inside the house? So when you go outside, they're already sliced up and you don't have to sit there and you don't have to wait. And I told my husband, I was like, you're right. And honestly, it does make it so much easier. It really does. Cause I'm gonna have to try to record cut. I know I have the tripod stick. I gotta start using that. I really do. Just stop saying it and start doing it. That should be my motto. Stop saying it and just do it. And I have to like, and then I know he's gonna get used to it. The big tripod stick. Cause I have one that's like a big tripod stick. Like you could stretch the pole and make it like really low to the ground or like high, like really high. So I want to bring that out and make him get used to it. So he gets used to that. Mm -mm. Now he's eating. Are you eating? While he eats his corn then today, this morning before he leaves, I'm going to give him a nice spray because I know it's going to be warm today. It's supposed to be 87. So Buck, you have to let me spray you. Okay, baby? Because it's gonna be warm today. It's gonna be really, really warm. Right, my big boy? Good boy. You're such a good boy. Oh, guys, I have a story for you that you won't believe. And I'm so mad that the camera, the trail camera did not catch it. I think it didn't, it didn't get it because he was standing here. He wasn't standing there so like he didn't make like he didn't make it go off let's say for it to start recording for it to get what happened yesterday yesterday after i made the dinner video i'm not even joking you guys i swear like oh my god i wish i had it on video i was on the i was on facetime with my niece so i was on facetime with her and i had told her like oh i just finished making the dinner video with buck i was like now I'm just sitting here at the spa, hanging out with him until, like, you know, once he decides to leave, I'll go in. As I'm hanging out here with him, I stay out literally to 7.30. I was outside till 7.30. That's what time I end up going inside. When I stood out here with him, what happened? Why are you guys scared? There's nobody there. It's okay. What do you see? As I was standing out here with him, what happened, baby? I'll put this in your corn. We'll put the apples in your corn. I don't see anybody. Hold on, guys. Wait. Let me look. I don't see anybody. I don't see nobody, Buck. You have me looking, too. He has me looking like if somebody's there. <laughs> I'm going to finish the story. Hold on one minute. Let me just try to get him to eat. Here, yeah, Buck. Go eat apples. Oh, he probably definitely sees see somebody down the road. That's what it probably is. Because he's looking over there and he could see the road from where he is 
Let me finish the story anyway until we'll wait for Buck to like. You ready? Come here, baby. Over here, Buck. I'm gonna put in your apples in here. Oh, my neighbor's out. Maybe that's why. Are you scared? Let me feed you here. Here. Here, baby. You're okay. Don't be scared. Yeah, so I was standing out here with Buck and I was on FaceTime with my niece. As I was standing out here, once it hit like 6.45, like that, it was like 6.45, I see the mother raccoon coming with her babies. The same mother raccoon that came July 13, I remember. And literally I was sitting here and I was like, oh my God. I was like, all right, I'm gonna stay calm as long as they don't come close, you know? Cause I don't want the mother, the babies getting close to me. Cause I know any mother animal that has babies, you know, God forbid the baby comes close to you. You know, you know what I mean? They're very protective. So the baby, one of the baby, I started getting nervous because the mother was like walking literally a little bit, a couple of feet away from Buck, but like over here. And I was like, no, no. I was like, back up, back up. I was even moving my hand. He must have felt my energy that I was getting nervous. I swear, I kid you not, one of the baby raccoons tried to grab onto his foot and he kind of gave it like a little nudge. He didn't kick them hard. Like he kind of like nudged, like get off of me. Then when the mother raccoon started walking up to here, I backed up. I started backing up because I was getting nervous. I was like, all right, this mother raccoon is not listening to me. Hey baby, it's okay. You're okay. I'm just telling the story of what happened yesterday. Yeah, come on, let's go put this in your corn. You want corn? Come here, Buck, look. Come on, baby. You want corn? Here. Over here, Buck. Look. So I was getting... Yeah, he's paying attention to my neighbor right now. The neighbor's out. That's why he's looking like that. On the right side that lives next door to me. Yeah, so I was getting... Let me finish the story. I'm so sorry. I was getting nervous, you know, that the mother was coming close. Like, she didn't care that I was going, stop, no, keep going. I kept going like that with my hand. The mother didn't care. She was like, I'm like, I'm coming up. She was getting ready to come up. Once I said, oh, no, no, no. I was like, oh, no. I was like, let me back up. So I started backing up from the spot, like getting nervous. And I walked over there, like on the blacktop. When I walked over to the blacktop, he must have realized that I was nervous. I kid you not. You know what he did? He lowered his head and started moving his head like this, like swaying his head like this in front of the mother's face. The mother literally kind of did, like, you know what cats do when they pick up their backs? She kind of did that, but then ran away. Then again, the second time, they try to come up again or up the hill. And Buck was just literally standing there and looking at them. And then they wouldn't come. They didn't come up, like, close to the spot again. I couldn't believe it. Right, baby? You used to go for mommy. You good boy. And I told him that he was such a good boy. Like, he chased the raccoons away. Like he made sure the mother didn't get close to the fence because he'd seen that I was scared. I couldn't believe it. I said, no way. And I was so mad that I didn't get it, you know, on video. But the reason I didn't get it on video because I was on the phone, but my niece, she's seeing it. She was even getting worried when she seen the mother raccoon walking closer to like the fence. She was like, Tia, back up, back up because she's getting too close now, back up. You never know, like, you know, what if she's trying, she's gonna charge at you or something, back up. So I backed up and literally once I backed up, he must have figured out like, okay, my mom is scared. My mom is not comfortable right now because of them. And then he literally scared them away. I couldn't believe it. I said, I was like, oh my God. I was so happy when he did that. So I was telling my husband, I was like, I wanna see now, like if I ever hang out with him for a long time again, till the raccoons start coming, if he would chase them away or like say, like give them that look, like don't even think about coming close right now that my mom's here. It's okay, Buck. That's the neighbor. It's okay, Buck. Yeah, he's paying attention to the neighbor right now. She's outside. I'm gonna put, okay, yeah, like that. I could probably, I'm gonna see if I could clip it onto the fence. Hold on, because that has a little thing. Okay. Not like that. 
Mm, like that. Yeah. I'm trying to find like a good position to keep it on. Maybe like that. So we could get his whole body. He's so cute. I love you, Buck. But yesterday, I couldn't believe it. I really, I couldn't believe it. What I witnessed with my own eyes. So I told my, go you corn, Buck. You have corn. He's getting scared. I think my neighbor's out. Hold on, guys. I gotta look by my driveway. Hold on. Nobody's there. He got scared. Something scared him off. He did like a leaf blower sound, but not close by. And I know my neighbor is out in my yard right now. The one that lives over there at that house. She's outside. But like I was saying, yeah, Buck, he got scared. I know he'll be back. He'll definitely be back because he didn't touch his corn yet. So he's definitely going to come back. Yeah, my neighbor's outside right now. I'm surprised. I can't even see her. I hear her in your, like in her, you know, in her property. But I don't even see her. I'm surprised Buck got scared and ran off, you know? Buck! Come on, big boy. It's okay. I know he can't be far. He's got to be close by there. Buck! Trying to see where he ran to. Yeah, so deers do defend, like, you know, like their family. They do defend them. Like, they'll fight for their family. Because Buck, I couldn't believe it yesterday. The way he was squaring off with the mother, like, don't come close. Like, I could tell. Like, he was literally, like, trying to scare them away. Because he knew. And then once he scared them away, I showed him that you know like thank you like i came close back like i came all the way i walked back to the gate and i told him i said buck you're a good boy i kept telling him he was a good boy i kept praising him then he came close where i was able to pet him so it was a beautiful i, I was amazed last night what happened i couldn't believe it i know he's gonna come back because yeah, all his corn he didn't really touch the corn come on buck Buck, you want corn? Come on. All right. I know he's gonna come back. He must have spotted my neighbor because I guess wherever she was standing, I didn't see her. But he must have seen her and he got scared. All right, guys. I'm gonna go now because <laughs> Buck left. I'm gonna wait for him to come back. I know he's gonna come back. So if he comes back, I'll definitely do a part two. As of right now, this is part one. Maybe part one. <laughs> I actually have to go grocery shopping. Oh, I see him. Okay, I see where he is. He's hanging out over there right now in that area. Buck, come on, let's go eat your corn. Come on, big boy. It's okay. Buck. I see. He's like scratching himself. I could see him in between the like in between the bushes. But I will be back. If I won't come back with a part two, I'll be back later. Maybe I'll come even when I get back from grocery shopping and stuff, I'll call Buck to give him like an extra treat. So we'll make an extra bonus video, like in between, like you know, the afternoon before his dinner. <laughs> Just in case if he doesn't come back, I'm definitely gonna be doing that. Cause then I'm not going to see him until like, you know, I get back from grocery shopping. Cause in a little bit, I got to start getting, heading out to go over there. Cause I don't want to get there too late. Cause then there's too many people and it just gets too crazy. And then when you have to ring out, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope, oh, I almost stepped on. I hope everybody has a great day today. It's beautiful out. I will be back later with another video. A bucks dinner video and probably videos in between like bonus videos just keep the notifications on because there's always bonus videos thrown in there you know that if you look in between all my videos you'll see you'll see like breakfast video bonus video dinner video bonus video oh i have a car in the little over here hi red you're so cute
There's peanuts here. I'll move out of the spot now so you can come here and get them. If he comes really close, he could get peanuts. All right, guys. I will be back later. I'll say later. I'll be back later. Ciao for now. And me and Buck will be back. <laughs>